A Jefferson Parish couple says they're lucky to be alive after a hit and run crash over the weekend. This happened in Greta as they were headed home and it was all caught on video. Mike McDaniel shows us what happened and explains why this crash speaks to a larger problem. This is dash cam video from inside the car that Isabella Landish was sitting in the passenger seat of Saturday night when suddenly I heard him yell and I saw red because the truck was red and next thing I knew I was completely disoriented. It happened at the intersection of Wall Boulevard and Iberia Street in Gretna. Landish's boyfriend was driving them home after celebrating her upcoming birthday. He says he had just checked his blind spot to move into the right lane. Just as he starts to merge, the video shows the red truck speed across. The first sense I remember after the accident was feeling blood coming out my nose. Thankfully, that was about the worst of their injuries, but it's what happened right after the crash that also hurts. The surveillance video from a nearby home shows another view. Immediately after the crash, the driver of the red truck backs down Iberia Street and just leaves. And I don't understand how, especially an accident that bad, how you could just have complete disregard for somebody's life. According to data from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, hit and run crashes are relatively common in the U.S. The American Automobile Association breaks it down to one happening every 43 seconds in the U.S., with Louisiana one of the top three states where those crashes are deadly. Every time I close my eyes at night, all I hear is this car hitting us over and over again. For this couple, the result was more property damage. The front of the car was smashed in and the airbags deployed. Because the driver left, they couldn't get a license plate, and the liability insurance coverage won't be much help. They just hope someone knows who the truck belongs to. We know it's a red Nissan Titan, and it's obviously going to have some kind of damage to the passenger side. Damage for a crash they know could have been deadly, but thankful to have walked away from. Mike McDaniel, WWL, Louisiana. Definitely thankful they could walk away. We did reach out to the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office for any updates on this crash and to see how many hit and run cases they have. They would only say this crash has been transferred to the traffic division for investigation.